Okay, this is Two Wolves. I'm still here. I'm still alive. I'm still afloat. I have to ask your forgiveness for my emotional disequilibrium last night. You know, as I wrote to, actually, I just wrote this to Stonely. I said, Two Wolves made a very serious error. She forgot she was not in Canada when recording. Actually, that is a very bad error, as has been proven out. Bad error, bad. But moving on from that, I'm going to have to tell you that I want to first let me thank all of you so much. I can't tell you all, Gamily, and even those who I don't know yet, who are new subscribers or who are just following this. And I understand that this, <laughs> I've got new subscribers today, and I give thanks and gratitude to all of you. Most of all, I give you great love. Big love bomb. That's not a copyright violation. Love bomb. Love explosion. Huge pack of wolves surrounding you all with massive hugs and love. Thank you all for your support, everybody, your input, your advice, your counsel, and in particular, well, I want to give a big shout out to Stonely in Dutch for all they do to defend us and to Chug Cole. And I won't say why yet, but especially thanks to Chug Cole. Thanks also to, um, well, just to every one of you and to the true Ray who has really been doing some massive activism on this. She actually has a new video out. I like to think that perhaps now that the shock is worn off, that my situation is probably going to be a test case, test run for all of us, and a wake-up shout to all of us. Ah, woo. All right, so well, let's move on to the story. Tomorrow I'm going to, I am working on a backup channel, and don't worry, I learned my lesson, and everybody, everybody, whether you use Screencast-O-Matic or... Whatever you use to get your videos uploaded, always, always, always publish it to that program as well as to YouTube. Because, for instance, in my case, Screencast-O-Matic, had I done that, it would have saved all my videos. And, and uh, YouTube cannot touch that. We'll see what's going to happen. The fur is going to fly, but it won't be mine and it won't be any of ours. God bless you all. Okay. That said... I am also making a backup channel, and I'll have a video out thanking you, and I'll let you all know what that is really shortly. But right now, because we have, here's what's happening here. Oh, let's go to this picture. Okay. Whoops. Well, we're looking at it twice. <laughs> now, that's funny. Two wolves, two pictures. Okay, this is downtown Ketchum tonight. Now, I don't say where I live or where I work. I move and work around the Wood River Valley, sometimes Ketchum, sometimes Hanley, sometimes Bellevue. I happen to be in Ketchum today, and I also was at work elsewhere. But this evening, I made a run into Ketchum, which is fun to do. This is downtown Ketchum looking north. On first glance, this doesn't look that serious, does it? But you see these white flakes? That's not wolf dandruff, nor is it snow. It's not rain spots on my lens. That's ash. There's major, major ash fall going on in the entire Wood River Valley. Well, this is great. We get to look at it twice. <laughs> That's hilarious. Thank you, Crater. Okay, this is the pool. A pool in the Wood River Valley. This particular view was earlier today, before I went to work. This view is more looking south, southeast. And this is all smoke. You're meant to be able to see this mountain very clearly. It's very close to the pool. This is really bad. People were coughing and choking, not from chlorine. I love this pool, mind you. But from the smoke. More likely to asphyxiate on the smoke than through drowning. This is actually taken yesterday as some of the smoke began to move in. This is last evening. This is looking west. What I'm doing is I'm showing you something here. And you're getting it. Okay, this is about, this is this evening looking due west. This is looking toward the Trinity Ridge fire. This is an entire bank of smoke coming in, followed by ashfall. In other words, the Wood River Valley is actually surrounded by fires on four sides. Not all of them are being reported. They don't want people to panic. But I can tell you a lot of tourists are already going home early. Don't, I'm not saying do that. But I would also say there are increasing numbers of serious respiratory, 
problems happening even in young people people are going to hospital I actually have got asthma in fact and I'll be okay I'm not, I don't have a serious case of it but I I hurt tonight I can feel it and I'm going to I want to just give you some information right now about ash fall and mind you there's no wind there's no wind this evening in the valley okay there were heavy winds from every direction earlier but when you have ash fall and that's not the best picture some of the ashes on the lens most of it's actually falling on me as I take the picture when that occurs that means you have a major fire incident nearby if there had been strong winds I could say it might have blown in from the north from the Halstead or the other complexes up north or from the west I think this actually is coming from the west from Trinity Ridge and I have a gut feeling this thing is running fast and hard east toward the Wood River Valley and actually the Trinity Ridge fire can come to the Wood River Valley fire can travel very fast under these conditions it's not inconceivable we will see some fire here but anyway, what I meant to say is that when you've got ash like this falling without any wind, you have got a large fire quite close. Okay. So we're just going to go to that. I'm going to move on from that now. Let's look at somebody who won't issue a copyright violation. And this brings something else up. And this is not known to many people, only those who've actually worked in emergency services. I learned this in Alaska when I worked in fire. During times of national emergency or emergency situations, copyright, copyright law basically becomes null and void in terms of media. Even the, okay, the ash holes associated with the media group that we're actually dealing with, those ash holes seem to not know the that legally in the United States when there is a threat to life or property copyright law in terms of the media is suspended media cannot lay um, all of those issues about ownership and money and I'm going to say greed and ego are null and void in the public interest when information having to do with informing and protecting the public is at hand in the case of the videos I and making about fires and that others are making about fires elsewhere and tsunamis and earthquake threats in that case technically you have a right to do that because you're informing the public okay I just don't press it yet we're working on finding out what the ins and outs but it really is fact okay and I can tell you that for sure the Forest Service and the others I'm going to bring up tonight are not going to turn me in for copyright violation. They want people to know what's happening. Nevertheless, I will give proper attribution. Salmon Chalice National Forest, under the umbrella of www.fs.usda.gov. I'm not going to read much of it. I don't want to get into trouble, but I know they won't come after me. They want this broadcast. Attention, fire in the Salmon River Corridor. This is new. Spread the word and pray. Fire in the Salmon River Canyon upstream of Corn Creek Boat Launch may affect Maine Salmon River trips. Lots of whitewater raft. Possible traffic delays and or pilot car escorts. This is actually kind of nice of them to even address whitewater rafters and recreationists here. No water, my God, no water is available at Cove Creek, so boaters should plan to get water. Oh, sorry. So boaters should plan to get this to be drinking water, potable water. At Newland Ranch, Human Waste Disposal Site, or Spring Creek Campground. Okay, this go to alerts and notices or news and events for an update on closures due to area fires in the Salmon Chalice. This can change every half hour. Okay, so if you or anyone you know and love, as I keep saying, is in the Idaho, in the wilderness, you direct them to NIFSI, direct them here, direct them to InstaWeb, direct them to the appropriate ranger and county sheriff for updated information. This is nice. Your safety is important to us. Okay, they're talking about something else there, but. Okay, Halstead fire update. I won't read it all, but. Um, this is the Mustang fire is becoming another problem. These are what we've got now in Idaho is not fires. We have actually got complexes going on. 
Be sure and read this for yourself or others. Okay. Let's go to NIFSI. www.nifsi.gov. It's not called NIFSI. It's NIFC, National Interagency Fire Center, but we all call it NIFSI. Okay. August 14th. Fire activity continues to pick up across the western U.S. Currently, 53 wildfires have burned more than 1.2 million acres. This is not even talking about what's happening in Canada, which I'd like to have time to cover more. Okay. Large fires in, fires in Idaho, California, and Oregon made significant runs yesterday and burned thousands of acres. They're not saying yet because... There's a delicate balance not to panic people, inform but not panic, but I have a deep feeling that the Trinity Ridge Complex is making a run this way. I'll just say that again. We'll see. Uh, August 12th. Oh, no. I didn't even know this. Oh, no. Oh, everybody hats off. On August 12th, a USDA Forest Service firefighter was fatally injured while working on the steep corner fire near Orofino. Firefighting community and two wolves extends condolences to family and friends of the fallen firefighter. Whitney's area command team has been assigned to manage all type 1 and type 2 fires on the Boise, Samoth, Sawtooth, and Salmon Chalice National Forests. Current fires include Trinity Ridge, this is so bad, which this is a complex, Springs, also bad, Halstead, Mustang, and Minidoka. This is the one near Twin Falls, it's not gone. More information, more thunderstorms, winds, temperatures rising across the west. Holy goodness, Mother of God, I don't mean that blasphemously. I, Mother of God, uh, Holy Mary, pray for us. Number of large fires here, we'll just real quickly, oh my gosh, you know. Okay, here's Idaho. New, two new fires, one is contained. This little grasshopper is half contained near Jordan Valley. It's actually more in Oregon. Halstead's at 51,000. Now structures are threatened. Areas near the fire are closed. Minidoka, Sawtooth National Forest. Look at this. Half contained. This complex is southeast of Twin Falls. Major, oh my gosh, major transmission lines are threatened. Oh now this is really bad you guys. Pray hard. You know what this means makes this very difficult to get emergency information to people, right? Mustang, this is a oh, 28 miles west of North Fork. Numerous structures are threatened. Powell, now the Clearwater, northern Idaho is getting it now too. This is actually getting up into Nez Perce, First Nations territory here. This is really bad because this is threatening subsistence areas and north and uh, my cousins. Nez Perce. Springs. This one's looking a little better. Steep Corner. This is the one on which the, the firefighter has died. It's small, but there's been an, a death. Trinity Ridge. Oh, this is bigger now. <coughs> That's, uh, excuse me, 5% five, five contained. Now it's 7 miles northwest of Featherville. Evacuations are in effect. Visit the fire info website. Yes, yeah, see, in case of these major fires, each fire has its own website. Okay, now I want to go over to InsaWeb for a minute. To, oh, I'm running out of my 15 minutes, but okay. Holy goodness. Okay, here's Trinity Ridge. This is the one, this one scares me. I've worked in fire half my life, but, and fires don't usually scare me. This one's starting to worry me. Okay. Updated 52 minutes ago. Look how big. And actually, um, Trinity Ridge Fire update. I, I don't have time to do it all, but I want you to go look. Evacuation preparedness plan. I should do a video just on that. Fire activity increased yesterday as a result of the red flag weather conditions, but not as great as expected yet. Yesterday, the road crossed Road 129 to the southwest. See, this fire is running southwest there's also i'm sure she's running this way she's running east this way i structure protection for the I, I i can't prove it but i can just feel it because of the way the smoke is and the ash the fire is 
actually the fire is actually apparently around or at Rocky Bar. Is us 